So, <laughs> yeah, but, okay, as an artist, you know, it's always important that you're continuously growing and learning new things and all of that. I did a very similar look to this about three years ago, I think. Oh my gosh. Um, I looked at that video this morning and I was just like, <laughs> Larissa, what were you thinking? But um, anyway, I'm going to put the link to that video below. Um, and this is for those of you who are new to makeup or um, just beginning makeup artists. And I just want you guys to know there is hope. Okay, there is hope. <laughs> Trust and believe that. Um, so I will link that video below. But this is a very purple, blue um, look. I love purple and blue together. I don't wear it often. But I hope that this rendition of that look is better than the one I did three years ago. I hope it is anyways. You guys let me know what you think. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Um, I don't say anything on the outro. I'm going to do probably a voiceover. Kind of like a get ready with me. But I only do the really much the eyes. I didn't want this video to be too long. Um, but just um, happy Easter. This will air the week after Easter. So I hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. And yeah, if you want to see how to achieve this purple, blue um, look, not for everybody, y'all already know. <laughs> for those of you interested, please stay tuned. Okay guys, let's get right to it. I'm going to go in first with Max Soft Brown Eyeshadow. Y'all know that's my eyeshadow transition of choice. I made a mistake and didn't clean out that brush. That's where the shiny part comes. The next thing I'm going to go in with is Max Brown Script. I'm going to concentrate the majority of the brown script on the outside of that um, crease area, making the transition area, and I'm going to sweep it on over, trying to get rid of that shiny color. The first color I'm going to go in with, purple color anyway, is Makeup Forever's number 92 eyeshadow. I'm going to focus this color right on the edge of where that tape is. Yes, I'm using tape, it just makes it easier. Um, you guys can freehand this if you want to. And I'm just deepening that outer V area right there with that purple. And I'm going to just concentrate that 90, 92 Makeup Forever eyeshadow right there on the edge and bring it over just a little bit in the outer corner of that um, eyelid. The next color I'm going to go in with is Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. This is M-928. This is a deeper, darker, richer, kind of like more eggplant, I think I would say more eggplant color and I'm just going to overlay that on top of the number 92 Makeup Forever sh uh, shadow and just work those two together. Then I'm going to take the first purple color we laid down, Makeup Forever number 92 eyeshadow and I'm going to take that, I, I want to say, no that's a Bedellum Tools brush, it's kind of like a 217 but it's a little rougher and I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend those two colors together. I'm using the lighter purple to blend the two colors out in that outer V area. Next I'm going to go in with NARS's Outwoman. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's a very blue, very blue, deep sea blue eyeshadow color. You must use a base in order for the color to actually show up. You can use a white base or you can use a black base. In this instance I happen to be using a white base for this color to show up. It does take some packing on and some patience here. So if you're going to use this color, it's a very beautiful color, um, make sure that you have a base and work it. Next I'm going to go back in with the deeper purple. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow number 928 and I'm going to build back up that outer V area. I'm going to go back in with Makeup Forever Artist, oh, excuse me, Makeup Forever number 92 shadow. Y'all know those are two different shadows, okay? The 92 is the original, the 928 is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow, the new one. So you just got to play with how you want that outer V area to look, okay? So I want it to still show the purple through, so that's why I'm doing that. I'm going in now, spraying a brush, and I'm going to take the Artist Couture um, Diamond Glow Powders, I think is what it's called, and I'm taking my favorite, Mermaid Fantasy, and I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to sweep Mermaid Fantasy over the outrimmer from my tear duct area on over okay I'm sweeping I'm not laying and packing I'm sweeping because I still want the outrimmer to kind of show up through the mermaid fantasy so I don't want to over pack the mermaid fantasy on the lid so that's why I'm using a blending brush and I am sweeping I hope that makes sense you're not packing you're sweeping 
okay? Sweeping, not packing, sweeping. <laughs> okay, so just, just understand what I'm doing right here. All right, next I'm gonna go in with my first transition color, which is Makeup Forever, um, excuse me, which is the MAC Soft Brown. And I'm gonna begin to blend the top outer areas of those shadows. I'm gonna use my second transition color, which was make, which was um, Max Brown Script. Ooh, I can't talk this morning. And I'm going to blend, continue to blend the outer area or the upper part of my um, eye area. Next, uh, what am I doing? Next, I'm gonna go in with Out Rimmer, okay? Because I lost some of the blue while I was sweeping the other. And I'm just now taking the tape off so you can see that defined line. That out rimmer kind of brought back everything. So here we are, almost finished. I'm going to go in with Max uh, NC35 Studio Finish, and I'm going to use that uh, on my lower waterline. I prefer to use a concealer now instead of white. It just, looks, it just doesn't look as stark. I'm going to go in first with a pencil brush with Brown Script. I'm going to lay Brown Script down first. Then I'm going to go in with the darkest purple we use. That's Makeup Forever's uh, M-928. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter purple we use. Oops, I dropped it. And that's Makeup Forever number 92. And I'm just blending those out under my lower lash line. And you can skip that step if you want. Then I'm going back in with the Makeup Forever brown script and I'm just blending. That's all I'm doing. Um, you, don't, you don't have to do that step. And then I'm going to go in with the Mermaid Fantasy again. Artist Couture, Mermaid Fantasy. And I'm going to take that on a little pencil brush. I'm going to put that right in the tear duct and lower lash line area and bring it on around. And I think it makes for a nice, pretty balance of colors. I'm going to go in with my Becca Opal Perfecting Skin Perfecting Shimmer. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. I don't have to tell y'all. <laughs> that, I only used uh, a bronzer and just that. Okay, so you guys stop where you feel comfortable. Hey, no judgment here. You know, you can go in like I do, blind, kill people on the street, don't matter. Um, excuse my lighting, um, but uh, it's a little off, it's a little bright, but um, you guys get the picture. I'm going to go in with Max Close. I want to say that's Close Encounter. It was a limited edition lipstick. I think that's what that is. I'm going in with Max Close Encounter. And um, next, I'm going to go in with the um, NARS Concealer. I want to say that's Biscuit. I'm not sure. I think it's Biscuit though. It's one of my concealers. I like to put that on. Oh, it's Ginger. It's Ginger. Sorry y'all, it's Ginger. And then I'm going to outline my lips with Max Cork Lip Pencil. Look at me, trying to look into the uh, viewfinder and not the darn, um, I'm trying to look into the camera. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. And then I'm gonna go in with Liquid Passion, which is also another limited edition lip gloss project, uh, product. But just use whatever you have, whatever your favorite nude lipstick is, nude uh, lip color is. And um, I still can't put my hand on Myth. I got one somewhere. But anyway, that's pretty much it, you guys, for the look. I appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe. Thumbs up. Y'all know it's free to subscribe, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, yes. Um, I do have some curly clips in. And I'm about to put that um, final, you know, zush on yes yes work it larissa work it work it <laughs> i appreciate each and every one of you and have a great weekend bye